Good morning, everybody. It's nice and warm here today. I have already been in the garden and I wanted to make this video today because I want to give you some tips on how to deal with pests in kale. So specifically for kale because I have been growing kale for a few years and I noticed that this pest comes every time and they are all flying around everywhere. So I don't know if you have seen on the videos, for example, there, there is one of those butterflies flying around just there. And those ones produce some eggs, some, some caterpillars. So those caterpillars love the kale plants. So a few weeks ago, I gave little seedlings to my grandma that she lives around here. She's my Australian grandma. And she, she planted them and she didn't cover or did anything with it, just left the kale outside. And, and they were doing pretty well, they set well in the soil, but one day it was just gone. And what happened? All the caterpillars were trying to eat the plant. And it just left the plant with nothing, no leaves, nothing at all. So you got to be careful with caterpillars because they are very hungry uh, worms. So for today, I want to show you what I usually do to collect them. So you are going to be shocked because of all the caterpillars that I have already caught. So I don't know if you can see them in there, but there is probably like 30, 40 of them already. So have a closer look of all those caterpillars walking around. And there is probably a little bit more in there, but I have done a good job in removing all of those because these ones will eventually produce more eggs, and they will eat the leaves and I don't want any of that. So I'm just gonna put them away. I'm gonna let them just come somewhere around here. Maybe put it in the compost. I feel bad putting it in the compost because I know they may most likely die there, but otherwise they will be eating some other stuff. But just leave it somewhere around there. Let nature do its job. And let's have a look on what tips I have for you when you collect all of these animals. So usually I like to go by hand first and explore a little bit onto what's happening around. So if you see a leaf that is chewed, I will go on the back of that leaf and maybe go and curl these parts that are curly and just have a look in there and see if you find any worms as you can see there is a very small one here just grab it it's not there uh, Just grab it like that. Just put it away. So, doing it by hand is a bit tedious, but I don't know how much you care for your plants. So, I have already tried doing this version, but as you can see, there is a few more of them around. So it's good to check for a little bit. And then they look pretty clean. They are not like a, a dirty worm or anything. It's just they are destructive for kale. And so when that's done, with, when you check with your eyes, I usually like to shake the leaves. 
So just go like this and then you check on the ground for any of them and if you see any just pick it up and put it away there was one do you see it jumping so just collect them in one spot there is another one you see they are very hard to see because they camouflage with the leaves so by sh shaking the leaves well there's another one by shaking the leaves you can shake them out there is another one in there There is another one, as you saw, it jumping. So you repeat that for the rest of the plants. Try to be gentle because the leaves may not like all the shaking and some of them may break. If they break, you can collect them and use it for salad. So as you can see, there is plenty of them falling already. And I thought that I got rid of the most, but look, I already collected one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just be careful when shaking it. Especially in the middle part of the kill, because if you break this part, um, you, the, the growth of the plant may be tampered, so it may stop. And as I can see, there is more around here. So I just grab it with my hand. So you see how they camouflage a lot. So it's quite annoying. There's more falling. Another one here. And another one here. This is working pretty well for me. So this one broke, so I'm gonna use this for salad. Uh, I'm actually gonna use the entire leaf. There is some flies annoying me. They're going on my face. Um, I like to go with the hose but sometimes with the hose, they, the leaves get wet and sometimes they may get a little bit fungal, a little bit of fungal growing in there. So I try to avoid that, but sometimes it may work. I just saw one here. So collect all of them, put them together, pick it up. and put them away. So there is no more of them. I'm just gonna grab them. And I wish them good luck around there. Hopefully they can become butterflies and fly away, fly away from my kill. All right, let's do the same for this part. Uh, no, there is nothing. These ones look less chewed, but if you use your eyes, you will see this around. That's what you want to avoid. Eat it away. Anyway, so at the moment I can give you those tips. Those are two tips that I just gave you. And I have another one that at the moment I don't know exactly what the recipe is, 
but there is a few good videos on YouTube if you type um, natural uh, repeller like insect repeller or any type of you know related topic related to um, to whatever you are growing so uh, there is a mix I think is like soap I think is oil and water so you mix all of those together and then you apply it into the leaves but you gotta be careful because sometimes it could be very strong so you need to mix it up with some water before so if you put too much the leaves may burn because they, there is going to be oil and also you don't want any bad soap on your plants on your leaves things that you are going to be eating so try to 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 buy organic maybe organic soap maybe a good oil that will just repel the insects and will wash them away and keep them away from from the leaves that's just my recommendation how to make it i am not sure but as i said have a look on the web have a look on youtube there is plenty of good videos of recipes on how to uh, make this mix and you can make a big mix and then mix it like dilute it with some water and then use it in the in whatever plant you are having a lot of maybe aphids or caterpillars so um, that's an that's the third tip that I have for you today um, last thing um, well, actually, there is no last thing. Um, just want to say that this is the end of the video. I don't have anything else that I can explain about um, the pest that attack the kelp. Sometimes, yeah, last thing, sometimes I have got aphids, so very small animals growing. Um, but, you know, at the moment I haven't got those yet. So... But if I do, I may try to use that soap and oil recipe because those ones will be harder to remove by hand. And maybe that that's when I will use the washing as well. So maybe use the hose with good pressure. So maybe use it on this setting. So usually that's the shower. But you can use the vertical and you can go on the leaves and wash them away try to do it try to do that in the morning so the leaves can dry throughout the day and they don't get as much fungus as they may get if you leave them wet throughout the night and that's all for today i hope you enjoyed and you found some good tips to take care of your kale because kale is delicious i love them in different ways so there is kale chips which is my favorite very easy to make have a look on the web have a look on the web kale chips how to make kale chips make some kale chips salad really good for summer tasty for summer uh, juicy and refreshing and that's the only two that i use sometimes i mix it with sweet potato but that's like a weird combination and yeah so start growing some kale thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you found some useful information um, please share it with someone that you think that may benefit from it and please subscribe i need to i would like to grow my channel and try to encourage more people to grow stuff in the garden and to start their own gardening journey so have a good day everybody wherever you are i'll see you the next video